special election edition of Project Red, White, and Blue, as promised just a few moments ago. We are ready to catch up with our Congressman-elect Ron Barber tonight. Nine on your side's Craig Smith is standing by with more. Well, here we are with Ron Barber, newly elected congressman from CDA. Congratulations. And uh, the mood of the country has swung back and forth in such extreme directions the past few years. What do you think this election says? I really think it's about Southern Arizona. I don't take any broader uh, ramifications or implications from the election. I work really hard to talk to people, to listen to people, and what they've told me is that they want someone to go to Washington who will bridge the divide between the parties, who will be bipartisan, who will try to find middle ground and common sense solutions. And that's what I hope to do starting tomorrow. Now, with the short time you'll have as the representative from CD8, and the schedule of what Congress has on its plate the next couple of months. What more can you achieve before you have to immediately start running again for CD2? Well, I go to Washington next week to be sworn in, and my plan is to certainly get on the committees that I think are going to be important for this district right away, and then I want to work on legislation on, uh, for veterans, uh, for border security to stop the money laundering that's going on, which is feeding the cartels. We've got many things we want to do, and I think there's possibilities, since these are bipartisan issues, that I think we can find a way to get some of these bills on the table and hopefully even pass before the end of the year. Who do you think, where was, you, where was your strength among the voters here, particularly once you get past the Democratic base? Well, we appeal to everybody, you know, Republicans, Independents, Green Party members, and Democrats alike. From the very beginning, we wanted to send a message that this was a big tent and that the campaign welcomed anyone who wanted to support the policies uh, that I'm trying to implement when I go to Congress. And so from the very beginning, as I say, we had bipartisan support. Bob Wolkup, former Republican mayor, and Jonathan Rothschild, current Democratic mayor, are my co-chairs here in Pima County. And I'm just really proud that we were able to build a bipartisan coalition to make this election happen. Now, this race was in the national spotlight, and folks have suggested that it might be sort of a test run for how the next congressionals will go, certainly, and also how the next presidential may go. Do you think that holds up? I really don't. I think that the people of Southern Arizona really voted on the issues that were important to them. Middle class, people struggling to get by, Medicare and Social Security trying to protect them, veterans benefits, border security. Those are the issues that in many ways are very specific here. Some of them are national, but most of them are specific here. And that's what I'm really going there to solve, hopefully to bring about some solutions to this very challenging issues that the people here face. I don't think it has ramifications beyond the district. I appeal to Southern Arizonans, and I'm very glad that they hired me to do this job. Thank you again, and again, congratulations, Thank sir. Thank you. So, so there you have it, a live interview with Ron Barber, the uh, newly elected congressman for Congressional District 8. He has just a short time in Congress before he has to run for the new Congressional District 2, but he says that he does feel he can actually achieve some things in that short bit of time before he has to run once again. Back to you. All right, Craig Smith, thanks so much.